traffic anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, we are almost there. It is. No, wait, we are there. It's FF episode 2700, 2700. And it's Mike. Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike Matthews here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. And it is going to be a big holiday for what it's worth. It's going to be the day with everybody dressing in costumes and scaring each other, going boo, trick or treat. That kind of thing And in lieu of that We'll maybe talk about some stuff That have to do with that Mike's Daily Podcast But did you also know That today along with it being That Mike's Day If you're listening to this on Halloween Podcast It's also National Magic Day Yeah National Doorbell Day National Knock Knock Joke day I told my favorite Knock knock joke yesterday Knock knock Who's there Last podcast Last podcast too Last podcast I told that Knock knock joke It's also uh, Girl Scout Founders Day And If you are listening To this on November 1st Dia de los Muertos And yes It is also The amazing First day of November Which is called First November Day And I'm just making that up, but that's probably what. It's also National Stress Awareness Day, which is very good. We need to do that. People full of anxiety these days, they need to calm down and just relax, take a deep breath. It's also National Calzone Day. That's one way I deal with stress is eating a calzone. Probably not a good idea. They're not the healthiest things. Identifying the stressors impacting our physical and mental health is important. Sometimes health problems are the cause. But our health can also be affected by external stressors such as physical abuse, stressful work environments, financial stress, family health issues. Some tools to deal with stress including develop coping skills for anxiety and identify and let go of the things you cannot change. Ah. And here's today's podcast picture. I was in the town of Niles, and there was this cool little window display. It was for a manicure shop, and they had some funny looking Halloween decorations, but they were really, really tiny. Anyway, Cafe Anyway, it's a cool picture. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. You should also identify and let go of the things you cannot change And exercise also helps Exercise helps a lot To let go built up anxiety Just even going for a walk Helps tremendously And eating a balanced diet Fuels our body so we're able to better cope with stress Balanced in a good way Balanced as in you That thing that the Health people are always showing you Is it a pyramid now? What is it now? It's shaped like a It's shaped like the On the top it's vegetables Adenda With Kevin You know I mean people you know people get stuck On stupid you know what I mean This show is clean Bands mutations Mutations Let's go to the 2023 one, shall we? The U.S. Department of Agriculture, the MyPlate. Pretty much. Dot .gov is, I guess, what they call it. I do that. I got into it. (laughs) What the plate should look like. It's not a pyramid. It's a plate. It looks like the majority is vegetables and grains. They look like they have a lot. And then uh, protein is kind of big. And fruits is smaller. Oh, that's interesting. And then dairy is off on the side. Huh. I didn't know it had changed like that. Let's see. Fruits make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Focus on whole fruits. Okay. Make half your plate. Bury your veggies, they say, too. Make half your grains whole grains. Bury your protein routine. And move to low-fat or fat-free dairy milk or yogurt Or lactose-free dairy Or fortified soy versions (laughs) 
Create a healthy eating routine to benefit your health now and in the future. Think about your food choices come together over the course of how your food choices come together over the course of your day or week. And eat different types of fruit, vegetables, grains, protein, foods, and dairy, and fortified soy alternatives. I have been eating basically the same type of fruit, and that's apples, because I still got a bunch of apples. They're slowly dissipating, though. Almost completely gone. Not No more apples in the trees anymore. They've all fallen, or I've picked them. So, there's that. So, variety, I guess, is the spice of life. And choose options for meals, beverages, and snacks that have limited added sugars, saturated fat, and sodium. So, I guess that's pretty much... This is Mike's Podcast Picnic. So, yes, National Stress Day. It's also National Cinnamon Day. National Stress Awareness Day, rather. Cinnamon Day. Yes, cinnamon's wonderful. There's so many things you can say about cinnamon. I put the, I put it in my coffee. It's so good. Actually, McCormick and Company Inc. founded National Cinnamon Day in 2019 because they wanted us to buy more, and I guess it worked. But it's a nice substitute for sugar. It gives your drink a little added something without putting any massive calories into MTV it. MTV News. You hear it. First. And it's also National Cook for Your Pets Day. Okay, just don't cook your pet. And National Authors Day. Commemorating all those people out there that write books and put the time and effort. Thank you for writing things to distract us and help us fall asleep at night. And it's National Vinegar Day. That's pretty interesting because vinegar helps with so much stuff. I add it to a lot of different recipes. I add it to, well, a little bit, well, of course, salad dressing. It helps out tremendously. And it's Prime Meridian Day, too. Boy, November 1st. You've got a lot going on as we go outside a cafe anyway where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Anyway. The prime meridian, which is zero degrees longitude, could have been set anywhere. However, for many years, governments of different countries disagreed on the prime meridian's location. Map makers in France marked the prime meridian in Paris, while the Chinese government published maps with zero degrees longitude going through Beijing. It wasn't until 1884 that governments from various countries agreed on Greenwich, England as the Prime Meridian's official location. Ah, okay. We're going to try and do a podcast on Halloween, but more than likely you're going to hear it on November 1st. So Mike is on it, man. man. Go where no man has gone before. We love it, Mike. As you know, there's a real scary holiday coming up. The last place on earth. Look who's here. Oh my God! Here's a jelly two hearts gift shop supervisor. People make fun of the way I talk like a joke. Holding court with Lady Katie. Lady Katie. You should really change your retainer. Mike Matthews, I have a retainer because I also have a lawyer, and I put them on retainer, Mike Matthews, in case somebody does something like try and steal my ideas for different snow clubs. Including this one That's a Halloween one Instead of having Snowflakes It's got bats So to get you warmed up for it We're gonna do a Halloween show One thing I like about snow uh, Well we talked about Audio The uh, day, uh, What was it? Audio drama Day Was recently And part of that is Because of War of the Worlds Was broadcast on Halloween So find somewhere Or look up online Orson Welles War of the Worlds One of the greatest radio masterpieces that freaked out the country. Woo! And it aired on Halloween. In fact, Orson even talks a little bit about Halloween and all that. It's our little way of dressing up in a ghost outfit and going boo. Kathy's Corner. Da 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 da. Kathy's Corner. So let's see. It's cheaper to rent than buy. It says here. For the fifth straight month, rent prices have dropped. Housing became more unaffordable. With a sustainable rise in home prices during the pandemic and a mortgage rate shock that's still playing out. In September, median rents dropped to 
Just a little over $1,700 a month That's down $29 from the peak In July of last year And down 5 bucks from August of this year Still rent prices are significantly higher Than pre-pandemic levels Even if they've fallen on an annual basis Rents have seen an overall year-over-year rent decline Of less than 1% Renting was more affordable than buying In 47 of the top 50 metros Fabagoo Things to do. Things to do. It's a good idea to rent. And you know, renting as a homeowner, I have to say, I miss the renting days because you would have a problem with something and you could just call the landlord and they'd send someone over. With a house, it's all you, baby. You got to take care of all of it. And there's always something and it rears its ugly head at the weirdest times. (laughs) So. There's that But of course then you do have the house And it is part of It is an asset That you can use in some way If you own it Although The person that I got this information from Rob Black I produce his podcast And you can catch him on the radio On AM 1220 KDOW Weekday mornings And he's also on TV on Cron In the 9 o'clock hour But he totally believes In servicing debt When it comes to a house Owning a house He would rather pay a mortgage on it That way if something big happens with the house Like if it burns down or whatever He can just have the bank repossess it He doesn't have to worry He's not on the hook for it Which I don't think if I I've fully described that correctly Or if I understand it at all But that's what he believes So The Royal Trump Tweet Decree Decree You will travel into the incredible universe But the monthly cost of buying a two-bedroom home Was almost $3,000 Or 64.3% higher than the cost of renting on average Is what is happening now these days Amazon has considering offering a veterinary telehealth As it's looking to compete with Walmart's pet telehealth service The U.S. pet market is expected to grow to $200 billion by the end of the decade And what's driving that boom is pet health And YouTube reportedly wants record labels to let it use famous voices for AI-generated music Why YouTube wants that? Not sure But that's what they're trying to do They've got some plan I don't know exactly what what is behind the scenes Alphabet And Alphabet I heard did not do so well When it posted its aftermarket It's uh, The results after the market closes Of their earnings Apparently Or were the earnings good I remember there was some kind of The stock dropped Welsh On the world if we look at the news As Mike just did right now At the moment uh, Let's see Oh they did have it What Alphabet stock was, has Had it's worst day Since start of COVID pandemic you man, Sometimes you wear stretchy pants And it's Oh it's cloud revenue That's right It did not do as well As they thought it was going to do It all had to do with their cloud The Google cloud all right, that's about probably all you want to know about that. But yeah, they did not have as good a day. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, do you like our costumes? Mm-mm. Oh, you both are dressed as David Bowie. That's pretty cool. Did you know that? I don't know which one is which now because you both look like David Bowie, but there's going to be a unique version of David Bowie's sound and vision performed. By Syncopation The Syncopation Rebels It features Several artists including John Orpheus, Sam Casey, Alex Exists And Martha and the Muffins Uh, It's Let's see To celebrate the 25th anniversary Of the pop guru Musical community They decided to record a version of Sound and Vision By David Bowie 
Not only is it a great song by a great artist, but the company's name is a tip of the hat to the song's title. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. That's uh, David Bowie is being commemorated that way. And they emailed me, mikesaleypodcast at gmail.com, which you can do as well. And you can also call me at... Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, it is A-Frame. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. And oh, we forgot to say hi to the late, great Basil the Boxer. Here he is now. And thank you for listening to the podcast, see past podcast pictures, and the late, great Basil the Boxer at mikesdailypodcast.com. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,